everybody, Andrea here with Dental Health Tutoring. So if you're taking the board exam this month or very soon, you might be wondering, so how can you really make sure you have studied all that you possibly can? You've taken the mock exams, the case studies, how to know if you are truly prepared for the board exam, or perhaps you need to study a little bit more. So what I suggest doing is I want you to take more mock exams and more case studies and really determine, so how did you do on those mock exam and case studies? Um, I'm not talking percentage per se, but let's say you didn't know a lot of the questions for radiography. Then that tells me you should go back and study radiography. Maybe not all of radiography, like maybe you knew a lot about the history, but you didn't know a lot about the tube head. Or maybe you knew a lot about the tube head and the components, but you didn't really know about processing errors. So go back and study what you had a harder time with on the mock exam. So depending on if you have a couple weeks left, a month left, a couple days left, you want to study very strategically, meaning you don't want to study things that you already know. So this goes back when I tell people, when you're first starting to study for the board exam, let's say you have three months left, study everything because you don't know what you don't know yet. If you only study what you think you don't know, you're leaving behind things that you need to be studying and refreshing your knowledge about. But if you only have a week left, if you only have a couple days left, there's no point studying what you know you know, you know, like the easier stuff. Like maybe you know all about toothbrushing methods and you don't have to re um, review that. Don't review something where you know the answer already, but go back and review things like um, pharmacology the more common types of drugs for pharmacology. Maybe you need to go over those medications that are in a medical emergency kit, the more essential ones. Maybe you need to go over dental procedures because you don't remember the main instruments that are maybe an amalgam uh, procedure versus a composite procedure. Do you know the different types of crowns, you know, metal, porcelain fused to metal, porcelain, zirconia, do you know these types of things? So study what you don't know, because anything new that you learn before you take the board exam, especially if you don't have a lot of time, you will retain that information a lot better. If you have three months to study, that's perfect. You have tons of time. You're going to be going over everything many, many times again anyway. But if you have a couple weeks or a couple days, you don't have time to go over the whole textbook again or anything like that. You don't have time. So really focus on mock exams and case studies and watch session recordings also. Watch teaching videos because you might be burnt out at this point where you have studied so much you can't read anything else. That's okay. Go inside and look at our past session recordings where I go over one topic for one hour. Just listen to me talk while you're even in the car running errands, you're folding laundry, your kids are watching a movie. Well, you can put your, you know, AirPods in and listen to me teaching you something else. So try to be very strategic with it. But don't think you know everything and that a week before you don't have to study for the exam. Please keep studying because you will be kicking yourself if when you take the board exam, you forgot a question or you don't know a question. You'll be kicking yourself and thinking, if I had just taken 15 minutes to read over the essentials that are in a medical emergency kit, I would have gotten that question right. So don't do that to yourself, okay? So good luck, you guys. Reach out if you need any help. I want you guys to stop studying eventually. So when you take the board exam, you'll feel so much better that you don't have to study anymore, but you'll have another stress wondering if you passed or not. So let's get you to pass, okay? Let me know if you need anything. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.